People with disabilities require advice, assistive equipment, or adaptations to their homes to be able to clean their bodies. Bathing has been pointed to as one of the most challenging direct support professionals activities over the years. Some people with disabilities struggle to lift their legs over the side of the bathing area, while others find it challenging to stand up safely. For some, the slippery surface is just too dangerous. Most of all, it is a concern if there is a mobility or a balance problem, or the fear of falling is just too high. So how do you handle this? We are First Choice Family Services. And here you're gonna learn about assisting someone with developmental disabilities complete daily hygiene. Most beginning DSPs, when facing bath time, adopt a let's see how this goes mentality. That's really not a good thing to do. Before even thinking of getting the client into a shower, you must assess the client's needs. A proper assessment can avoid hours of trouble, so don't skip it. This assessment has four dimensions to tell you about. But first, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with direct support professional news and the developmentally disabled community by hitting the notification bell. Now let's go. Dimension one, consider the individual's preferences. Have you ever experienced taking a bath in someone else's bathroom? Feels pretty uncomfortable, right? The same thing occurs when a developmentally disabled person is taken out of their comfort zone. That's why discovering their personal preferences are the first thing to have in mind before proceeding with anything. It's important to remember that bathing and showering are usually private activities. Reluctance to accept assistance, whether at home or in a residential care setting, can actually be for many reasons. Overcoming this may be as simple as making sure the help is offered at the preferred time of day. People may want to continue with old habits, and that should be respected. Appropriate and safe methods should always be encouraged. If embarrassment is the reason for refusing help, then tact, sensitivity, and persuasion are required. Dimension two, assistive equipment and adaptations. There is a wide range of equipment available to help people bathe or shower like handrails, floor to ceiling poles, rails attached to the taps, and bath boards. If you think one of these accessories could help you, you should give it a try. Sometimes people are embarrassed to use assistive devices, but once they realize the device actually allows them to overcome physical barriers, they're comfortable. Dimension three, alternative baths and showers. There are several different types of baths, including those with lifting devices for disabled people. A standard bath with strategically placed handrails and a removable bath lift may be effective and cost-effective too. Also, showers come in different types and formats, and what is suitable for one person is not necessarily ideal for another person. Dimension four, ensuring safety. Human beings are not static loads, and a watery environment can turn them into slippery objects requiring extra care. Suppose a person is to be left to manage unassisted or is at risk of falling. In this case, a risk assessment of his or her abilities should be undertaken, documented, and reviewed often. A confused mobile person should never be left unattended during bathing. Direct support professionals must move people safely using correct handling techniques. Also, notice that manual handling should be kept to a minimum. But at the same time, it's also essential to ensure that safe transfers into the bathing area are possible. More than a third of all injuries lasting over three days reported each year to the Health and Safety Department are caused by incorrect manual handling. So please be careful. Conclusion, so there you have it. Now you can call yourself an expert on assisting someone with a developmental disability complete daily hygiene. And the three things you can take away from this video are, assistive equipment can prolong independence. Make bathing pleasurable by adopting a facilitative and positive approach. Get services. If you have a developmentally disabled family member who needs support, please click below or in the description to get uncompromised DSP services. Become one of our staff. Remember that the First Choice Family Services doors are always open for results-driven professionals. Feel free to show your support to the developmentally disabled community 
by donating or participating in our charity and campus ambassadors programs. Get involved. Be social. Finally, get in touch with us through our social media channels to be updated on the news in the DSP industry and the developmentally disabled community. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends in need of a job after you subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. And remember, First Choice Family Services is your information resource for the DSP industry. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can stay connected.